What is up guys and welcome back to another Ray Cheddar Legends video with me, The Real Deal. So today we are going to be taking on the Griffin Floor 90 Hard. Um, I've got three different team comps to show you and one of them is able to do it in under two minutes. So nice and fast and help you get Guardian gear as quickly as possible. So um, just before we start looking at the Guardian set and the Griffin's abilities and all the different team comps that I've got, um, I just want to say a massive thank you. I've had a massive influx of uh, subscribers recently, so I appreciate all your love and support. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe because it helps me so much, but also helps my channel grow. And it really does motivate me to make more content for you guys. And I just absolutely love doing this and it's so much fun. And also, you know, hopefully I can entertain you guys, you know, have some nice little bit of banter. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, well, you know, I want you to guys to subscribe so we can all have a good time. So let's have a look at the Guardian set. And sorry, just for scrolling down, as a free to play player, make sure you stack, um, you know, your, you know, resources. You know, I've got 684 pieces to craft of uh, Perception and uh, Guardian set. So I haven't touched it for this month. I've got 131 pieces to bash out. So yeah, make sure you hold on to your resources. So Guardian set. It's an amazing set. Um, basically, single target and AoE damage. It's going to take 10% of that damage and put it onto your that champion that's wearing the set. Um, so this is great on Vogoth, especially for PvP. Um, you know, even if they're doing single target damage, he's going to be absorbing that. Sorry, yeah, Vogoth, he, he is a he. He's going to be absorbing that damage and his passive is going to proc and he's going to keep your team healed up nice. Um, and also you're going to get healing by 10% every turn. It's also great on Brogny, who are actually using this team comp. Um, and people use this set all the time. And they use it in endgame um, Hydra content. It's absolutely amazing. So this is a gear set that you can use throughout the entire, like every stage of the game, even all the way to endgame. Um, other thing I want to say is um, substats you want to be looking for are speed, um, HP, defense, and then accuracy and resistance sort of secondary. And um, for gloves, chest, and boots, the primary stats you want are HP percentage, even on your boots. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have um, speed boots, but the HP is definitely the best one because obviously this champion's gonna be taking all the hits, and you know, he needs they need you need to stack HP on them to keep them alive so they can do their job. I mean, defense is pretty decent as well, but I definitely would say HP and um yeah hp percentage is the one that you want all right so let's have a look at the um griffin's abilities so we're in the doom tower and you can do this for any boss you literally just click on the boss you want to have a look at and you do boss guide and then we'll scroll down to look at his abilities um so he is immune to stun fear sleep provoke block passive skills block passive skills fear true fear and petrification and then all the bosses have exactly the same skills um passives above so um, basically all turn meter reduction effects are reduced by 50%. Um, so that's your armagers, your cold hearts. That's going to significantly decrease um, the turn meter reduction they can do to the boss. And um, any champions that do um, damage based on enemy max HP cannot exceed 10% of the boss's max HP. So basically cold heart, royal guard, um, husk, anyone that's got those big hitting abilities is going to significantly reduce the damage they do. Okay, so first, uh, so next passive, um, Griffin, um, turn meter is decreased. The turn meter of all enemies is will be decreased as well by the same amount and places a stun debuff on that champion for one turn. Uh, whenever an enemy's turn meter is filled, the Griffin's turn meter is filled by the same amount. So basically, you cannot use turn meter manipul uh, manipulation in this fight. So you don't want champions that are going to boost your turn meter like Arbiter or Seeker or Necmo. And you don't want anyone that's going to decrease the Griffin's turn meter as well. So your Cold Hearts, your Armagers, um, all, all those guys. So they're no good for this. And basically, it's like the Griffin's going to match your team. It's like match for match. So you can't decrease it. So there's no point in doing it. Um, so next part of the passive is Skybond. So... Basically, um, the Griffin basically puts on a Sky Bond buff onto itself every um, turn. And then it just increases the attack, the crit rate, the crit damage and speed 
of the griffin each turn and when it gets about 15 then it really starts to smack and starts to get really fast um it also ignores um shield block damage and unclearable buffs when the griffin has 10 or more sky bond buffs and it cannot stack up uh, more than 20. it can also not be blocked and it cannot be removed um, so basically, essentially, it's just a speed race and you need to kill that griffin as fast as possible. Uh, whenever an enemy's... So basically, whenever one of your champions' um, HP drops below 50, um, basically, you, they're going to be attacked and it's going to put a um, heal reduction on them, 100% heal reduction, debuff for two turns. And this can be really frustrating because say one of your champions' HP drops, the chances are they're probably going to die, especially if they're a new car. And then if you do revive them, their HP is probably going to be a low 50. So the Griffin is just going to kill them again in the next turn. Uh, so this is where the Griffin sort of really unique as well. So basically he removes all buffs from the enemy, then attacks all enemies. The buff removal cannot be resisted and damages are increased, uh, sorry, increased by every 10 by, sorry, increased by 10% for each buff removed. So basically you don't want to bring in loads of buffs. Um, because the griffin is going to remove them and do loads of damage to you um, and then debuffs so um, basically all the debuffs that you put on the griffin will be um, removed on this turn and thrown back at you at your team and then for each um, debuff on the griffin it's going to increase the griffin's turn meter by five percent for each debuff transferred so you can't bring in poisons. So if you bring in like loads, say you did like eight poisons, all those poisons are going to be removed from the Griffin and throw back to your team. So it's probably going to cause you to wipe, but also that's going to buff uh, the Griffin's like turn. So that so just like massively increases speed. So it's not gonna it's gonna you know it's not gonna be in your favor. But the buff the debuffs you can bring in are like decreased defense, decreased attack, slow. Slow is a really good one. And HP burn. So HP burn is a great way to take out the Griffin. And there's like a normal attack that has a hundred percent chance of placing fear for one turn. So that is uh, all the Griffin's abilities. So let's have a look at some team comps. So this is team comp number one. We've got Jareg, Rotos, Drekstar, Seal, and Underpriest Brogni. Um, Jareg, Seal, and Underpriest Brogni are the core of this team. Um, Jareg's ally protection really helps reduce the damage that the Griffin does and you can actually reach 20 stacks and still be okay. Um, Seal is great, she's doing healing. Um, the only problem is her A1 means that she's going to get stunned a lot but that's okay and she's got a revive as well that can come in handy. Underpriest Brogni is absolutely amazing for this so he's going to be um, reflecting damage to the boss. Um, only two, uh, so only yeah, only two of his buffs out of three can be stolen. So his shields can't be removed, and every time he gets hit, they are going to heal you as well. So that's great. Um, and yeah, he's just amazing all round. Um, Rotos and Drekstar can be replaced, but Drex, uh, sorry, Rotos is absolutely amazing for this because of his passive. He doesn't take a lot of damage, and he absolutely smacks. And um, they've actually both done one point, sort of one point five mil. To 1.4 mil so both done really solid there and Drekstar is a free accessible champion just like Seal um, so he's absolutely great for this because of his passive and basically every time the Griffin hits you there's a chance to put HP burn on him but uh, Drekstar could be replaced by any sort of magic affinity um, HP burn champion so Tyrant's a great one Akoth um, so Akoth is the epic demon spawn champion you get free from Doom Tower as well. And um, Crypt King as well is a great option. Um, Ultimate Garlic Bread. I would not be using that guy. He is absolutely trash and he's definitely not going to help you on floor 90. Maybe floor 30 and 60 might help. But even then, I'm not a fan. So I'd probably say don't use him flat out at all. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, those two are completely replaceable, but they are the core. Potentially, you could put in a different ally protection champion to Jareg, um, but he is pretty amazing and unique for this. Um, I'm just going to quickly, sorry, just while I talk this through, I'm just going to um, go bring up their uh, stats for you. So for Seal, you could probably get away with me using different revivers and healers. Um, so a really good one would probably be 
Um, Godseeker, I, ma I imagine Godseeker would be amazing for this. So if you do have Godseeker, you could use her instead of Seal. Um, so key stacks for stacks, stats for uh, Jar Egg, 65, uh, HP is most important, uh, defense, um, speed. And I actually use my Jar Egg for Eternal Dragon as well. So that's why he's got resistance and that accuracy. So they're not completely essential for Griffin, but the accuracy does help. Um, my Rotos is in a lethal set, so that's like a savage set. And mine's built slightly different. I'm going to do a video further down the line on this, but um, so his stats are focused on HP and attack um, and speed and crit rate and crit damage. Those are the most important stats, so he absolutely smacks. Um, Drekstar in lifesteal and perception. And the stats that you need to focus on are HP, defense, speed, and accuracy. And he's only got resistance in there for, I think, Eternal Dragon as well. Um, Seal, we've just gone for um, HP, defense, speed, and accuracy again. And Brogni is in that Guardian set, so that's really helped reducing the damage that the whole team takes again. And Immortal, just for that extra healing. 84k HP, so HP is a big one. Uh, defense not really was it i wasn't really interested in it when building this team comp a decent amount of speed at 242 and i don't really have any accuracy or resistance on him he's more about sort of it's a different sort of pve build where he's just trying to keep the team alive um however say for hydra you could put loads of accuracy on him so he um, lands hp burn on the hydra heads or for like a defensive pvp team you put um low stack um resistance on him so um masteries um jar egg pve build um rotos in a pvp build um drekstar seal and brogni all in pve builds so just gonna leave that up for a second and we'll move on to team number two we've got turnaruk jar egg ninja herndig and doom priest uh, turnaruk is purely in here just for her speed accuracy aura uh, basically my ninja doesn't have enough accuracy to land his hp burn so i had to bring her in so he could land that um yeah so it's quite a, it's quite a cool team um you've basically got two cleansers so basically any debuffs reflected back to us are going to be removed by these two um and ninja's doing a massive amount of damage here 1.5 mil and herndog has done nine or nine 900k so decent amount of damage from both of them um, so gear, Tanarak is in resistance and perception, HP, defense, speed, resistance, and accuracy, what you need to focus on. Um, Jar Egg, we've already talked about. Ninja, um, attack, speed, um, crit rate, crit damage, and accuracy, what you need to uh, focus on. And you want around 300 to 350 um, accuracy for the Griffin. Um, and he's in a Relentless set and a Broken set. That Relentless set is amazing. I think most people put Ninja and Relentless for PvE content because he's just constantly proccing and he's um, that Hell Burn. I think it's his A2. Yeah, it is his A2. It's just constantly going off and just smacking super hard. So it is really good. Um, Herndig, I've got in Perception and Savage. And mine's actually built for Dark Fae as well. Um, so attack, speed, uh, crit rate, crit damage, and accuracy What is what you need to focus on for this. And Doom Priest is also in a Relentless set, and it's just absolutely great. So she's getting loads of heals out and loads of cleanses. And the stats you're focusing on are HP, um, speed, and that's it. Um, I guess I could bump up her defense a little bit, but yeah, that's all we're focusing on for Doom Priest. Uh, Masteries, so we've got support. And offense for Tanarak. Same again for Jareg. Um, Ninja would want chances to proc counter attack. And um, Herndig, basically, I just wanted to try and land. Oh, that's the thing to point out as well. Basically, ideally, you don't want Evil Eye for the Griffin. But unfortunately, it is in this build for Dark Fae. And then, uh, and then yeah, um, Doom Priest is just in a very standard. Um, sort of PvE build and um, I haven't finished a masteries and um, just because I don't feel like there's anything uh, useful to take so yeah let's have a look at team number three so this is my super fast team one one minute and 44 uh, so we've got Tahanarak, Trunda, Ninja, Stag Knight and Doom Priest so again Tahanarak coming in clutch with her accuracy aura for my ninja um, Stag Knight is great for this because he's decreasing the boss's defense 
He's also um, got a slow on his A1, so he's keeping the boss nice and slow. Um, Trunda does a huge amount of damage on the wave, so she clears the waves really quickly. And it's just that same double uh, double cleansing team comp. So Trunda is in a lethal set, and just like your typical new car, we're focusing on attack, speed, crit rate, crit damage, and that's that. And um, Stagnite's in shield and perception, uh, 61k HP, a decent amount of defense, um, speed 237, and then accuracy. So that's all we care about for those guys. So, um, yeah, and this is just their mastery. So I'll just leave that on for a couple of seconds so you guys can sort of screenshot that. Okay, so we've gone through all the team comps that I've got. Um, if anyone else has any um, team comps that do work for Floor 90 Hard on Griffin, you know, that are really free to play accessible, please uh, leave a comment below so everyone can sort of see those. Be really useful to, you know, sort of learn from each other. And yeah, um, I'm looking to do some more content. I'm completely open to any suggestions. Um, you know, is there any content that you're struggling on, like Doom Tower, Arena? Um, and I really want to do some more champion guides as well. They're really fun. So any sort of anything that you're interested in, you know, please drop me a comment and I'll or D DM me on Discord as well. I'm not afraid for have someone to slide into my DMs. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Uh, make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe into the ground. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.